What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to start a series of videos that I'm going to be doing which is running LumaFusion on the new M1 Mac Mini. <music> Alright, so we're going to jump in uh, to my desktop uh, and kind of start going through it. So as you can see, here's the layout of, of the apps that I have. Uh, right now, don't have that many apps. I did bring a couple over from my phone like LumaFusion and Denoise uh, that I used to use, but we're going to just go ahead and launch LumaFusion right here. So if you're either curious uh, in regards to this video about seeing LumaFusion run on an M1, or if you are uh, just essentially new to LumaFusion in general and you're looking at it as an option for you to be able to uh, edit your videos. Uh, so this is gonna be some tutorials that I'm gonna do very short kind of going through different areas. So today we're just gonna look at the layout of the, of the page itself and kind of start a new project and then we'll kind of go from there. So when you've downloaded LumaFusion, this is what it's gonna look like. You're going to essentially have your uh, photos uh, right here on the upper corner. Uh, you're going to have photos, you're going to have your videos, your moments, your albums. Uh, this is really coming from your, uh, your library of, of pictures. Uh, that's the real cool thing about LumaFusion. It intertwines and, and links with your, um, your photos on your phone or your iPad, whatever it may be. And so there is going to be a breakdown here. Uh, as we look here, you have your photos, you have files, uh, things that you've imported into LumaFusion, uh, story blocks, which we'll touch base on uh, a little bit further down along these, uh, these tutorials, titles, and transitions. All right, so here is your source of, of layouts right here. Uh, right here in the center is where you're going to get all of your uh, clips showing. And then on the bottom here is where you're going to have your timeline. So in this particular uh, video, what we're going to do is I'm going to hit the plus uh, sign right here on the lower left corner to start a new project. As you can see, it pops up right here on my screen. And so uh, I'm going to title it uh, LumaFusion Project. So LumaFusion project layout. So this is a new feature that LumaFusion has brought in right here, uh, a couple of different things. So the first thing it's going to ask what type of as, uh, frame ratio you're gonna wanna film in. You have your 23.98, you have 24 frames, 25 frames, and then so on and so forth up to uh, 60, even 120 frames, right? Typically for me, anytime I'm filming anything and when I've used LumaFusion, I use 24 frames. Uh, this is also, uh, the next is the frame uh, aspect, what you can do. Uh, I usually go 16 by nine landscaping, but there are uh, different ones. There are some uh, specific features when you're dealing with uh, iPad landscape and you know iPad portrait and a couple of different things here. So a good variety of different ones to go with, uh, but I go by 16 by nine. And then this is a new feature, which is the color space uh, that uh, they've actually implemented. So you can go ahead and pick your color space, whether it be Rec 709 or, or Rec 709 10-bit, which is something that they've added because of the new iPhones, uh, right? So you can choose that or you can leave it blank. The cool thing is even if you don't, uh, choose any of these, whatever clip that you import, it's typically going to take that uh, frame rate and it's going to incorporate it if you've left it blank. Uh, but then at this point, we're gonna go add and then our timeline is going to appear, right? So uh, this is where uh, you're going to be doing your um, you know, project itself. Just for you to know, uh, LumaFusion does have some limitations uh, when it comes to the amount of uh, videos or layers you can have opposed to traditional uh, uh, videos. Uh, so, you know, just kind of be mindful of that. If I'm not mistaken, I believe you can do five layers of, of videos and then you can do 
uh, five layers of sound, if I'm not mistaken. So still a lot, but once again, if you're dealing with complex timelines, you know, you'll probably, there's some shortcuts and some ways around that that you can kind of do. But for the most part, you know, uh, that's how it's going to uh, give you the layout. So if I go here, for example, into my videos, uh, it's gonna show all of the videos that I have, uh, you know, lately. So what I can do is I can go through and I can just pick a video. As soon as I click on it, you're going to see it's going to uh, generate over here on the screen. Uh, this is something I was doing some drone footage for a church. Uh, so uh, you're able to kind of watch that video play out uh, by hitting, you know, by just clicking your, your, um, your pause button or your, you know, right here. If you're using a computer like I am with the M1s, you can go ahead and just press the space bar and that's gonna start playing also, right? So there's your layouts. Uh, this is also, you can uh, scale this to whatever size you want. So if you don't want necessarily the whole clip, you just want maybe a portion of it, you can go ahead and uh, just select uh, which uh, portion of that video you want by sliding these bars over. And so uh, let's say I'm happy with this, um, with this one right here, if I want to go back and I want to just watch what's in the frames, I'll hit this uh, back uh, space bar back here and it's going to take me to the very beginning right here. I can hit my space bar and I'm like, okay, I like this footage, I like how it looks. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this now on your phone or on your iPad, you're going to go ahead and you know click on this video with your finger. With me, I can actually use my mouse and I'm gonna drag it into my timeline right here. And so it's going to take a couple, uh, a couple seconds for it to, to load in here. You're going to see right here in the right corner right here where my mouse says download media, one minute remaining. So this little wheelhouse essentially is telling me that that's how long it's gonna take for that clip to be imported into my footage. So uh, as I can see right here, I can start playing the video and I'm pretty happy with, with that particular video right there. And so, boom, I've now been officially been able to put that in there. So that's really the very first video I wanted to do, just kind of give you a rough idea of what LumaFusion looks like. Uh, like I said, you have your photos right here, you have your files. So for example, you can link a file uh, if you wanted to by clicking add a link here. And then it's going to ask you where you wanna pull that file from. So if you're on an iPad uh, and you have your uh, files, for example, in the cloud, you can go ahead and link that to these videos right here. Uh, imported footage, once again, if, if you're working in correlation with anything like Dropbox, which I used to do before, I used to get videos uh, and, or, or music before and I used to download them into my Dropbox and on the phone and on the iPad, LumaFusion works flawless. It just works perfect. You can go ahead and open up that, that video or that, uh, that sound uh, clip that you want or the music that you wanna put and it's going to, as you click on it and you get your drop, uh, drop down, you can actually go ahead and send it directly into LumaFusion. And so it would actually be in the imported section right here. And then once again, your titles are gonna be right here. And once again, I just click on a title and then I am uh, right there. And then what I can do is I can drag that title in here and then I can start working on that. Right, so, uh, but that's pretty much it. That's gonna wrap up this first video right here that I have. We'll start continuing to, to dive into LumaFusion uh, and, and really just kind of go through some of the uh, most basic information that gets you up and running if you're new to LumaFusion and for you that are possibly looking to purchase an M1 uh, Mac mini or you know the new air or the MacBook Pro this is going to give you an idea of what it's going to look like if you decided to you know use LumaFusion on your computer so guys once again thank you so much for coming and checking out this video and I will see you in the next one